Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to create a theme toggler using React context and styled components. So uh, in here we have a brand new React app that you can create yourself with npx create React app. Uh, so now we can do yarn start to start our React app in the browser. All right, and let's open app.js and let's remove all the stuff we will not need. So let's just relive an empty div here. Remove all this. And also in index.js we can remove styles from here and we can remove this, this, and this. So all styles and logo. Yes, remove. All right, uh, so now let's go to app.js. And uh, now uh, we will use start components. So I will uh, install them. So yarn add styled components. All right, and uh, let's import it here. So uh, our app will need some uh, basic styling and uh, the toggler itself. So let's create a new component for the toggler. Uh, so in the same directory that our app.js is located, let's do new file and let's call it uh, toggler.js and let's create a function called toggler and it will return just an empty div and here we will do export default toggler and we will use it in our app so here capital T toggler like this right uh, so now let's uh, create some some kind of toggler or checkbox to uh, so we will have something on the page. Uh, I will cry, start by creating some text here. Maybe let's do H3 dark mode. Right, and uh, let's see. Yes, it works. Right, so in our toggler, we will need a label. We can remove this part for now. And it will be an input type checkbox. Like this. And now we want to hide this checkbox behind this div, this special div we will create here. All right, and uh, let's also import style components here. So we can style this label, this input, and this div. So uh, uh, let's do const styled label equals styled label. And uh, we can now replace it with with this one, styled label. Right, and here we can uh, do that our input will have position fixed. And let's do left minus 999 pixels. Yeah, but uh, the div that is uh, located near the input let's um, put some um, width of maybe I know 50 pixels like this width half of I don't know let's try 16 and the uh, background um, let's do background of I don't know Let's try with a 
right uh, here we have it all right so uh, it's maybe a little too long so let's make 30 uh, rounded corners border radius of 8 pixels I, I will just yeah it looks good uh, so uh, now we want to have a circle inside with a moon icon so uh, to do this and we will use hero icons so I will do yarn add hero I icons slash react yes and inside this div I will use uh, moon icon yes from uh, solid yeah so moon icon, moon icon has been uh, imported for me here and here is our moon icon all right so install inside this label and we have this icon that is actually an svg so let's style it a little all right so um, let's put half of uh, 14 pixels yes and uh, let's put color uh, white and background color because it will be a circle let's do maybe ccc yeah and the uh, border radius of 7 pixels because 14 uh, uh, half of 14 is 7 and now let's just add some padding uh, so it will be position absolute I will make it a uh, absolute uh, to this uh, parent so this one will be position relative and this will be position absolute so from the top it will be one pixel and from the left it will also be one pixel all right um, now uh, we now we want to make it clickable so uh, let's uh, let's fix it uh, so uh, we will use state for this so uh, here we will create a new file let's call it uh, theme not state uh, context I mean theme context .js like this and let's import react from react and let's create our theme context so it will be const theme context equals uh, react create context and the default but will be an empty object and now we just need to export default theme context all right uh, now we want to provide this theme context inside our whole app so to do this uh, we need to use uh, our context here so theme context yes provider we can leave value empty for now and let's put everything inside so uh, value can't be empty like this instead let's put an empty object uh, right so it works theme context has been imported for us here and we can put some value inside that we can later use in toggler so uh, to do this we will need state inside our app so let's import use state from react 
All right, so uh, now we can uh, you state the default value will be false. Let's call it uh, uh, dark mode. So the state will be called dark mode and set dark mode. All right, and we need uh, both of them inside our context. So let's put dark mode here and set dark mode. All right, so now we can use dark mode um, in uh, our toggler and we can also set dark mode. So let's go to toggler. All right, and here uh, we need to set the value of this checkbox and it will be disabled for um, for if it if the dark mode is false uh, it will not be uh, value but uh, checked and checked will be dark mode but we don't have this uh, property yet so first we need to use uh, context to do this in this component we need to import use context from react and here we can use it use context and let's call our context theme and the context value will be our theme context yes from this file and as you can see the theme context has been imported for us so now we can use all uh, properties that we pass here those are passed to our theme all right so now we have inside theme uh, like dark mode that can be false or true so now let's use it so the input uh, checkbox will be checked if the dark mode is uh, true so theme dot dark mode so it's false by default and we want to also update the dark mode to do this we will use this cert dark mode so we will set it here and it will be passed to all the components all right so uh, on change and I will put it in a new line on change we want to do theme set uh, dark mode and here we can do uh, the opposite of theme dark mode so we can just grab this value and put negative of it or uh, we could actually do alt value and use a callback like this and uh, the opposite of old value all right now let's see it doesn't work because uh, for now we are not defining defining any styles for uh, when the checkbox inside is selected so let's fix this first so when input is checked then uh, the div that is uh, lying around next to this input will be as follow so uh, let's make the background uh, maybe a little darker uh, so let's try with 668 now let's see if anything changes no not yet mm, let's see everything looks fine for now all right so um, background and uh, now let's also do svg and the svg background color will be let's do 224 Okay, for now nothing is happening with our uh, toggler. Let's see why. Okay, 
yeah here we have a problem we should pass a callback not direct call on the function like this now it should work yes almost works we just need to move this icon uh, so here is our SVG and we just need to do left let's try with 20 pixels that is too much let's 10 too little 14 almost 15 yeah that's perfect and now let's also do transition all 0.4 second and is so we'll have some animation all right so uh, now i also want to make styles for the whole app and not only for this toggle so let's go back to our app js and in here we want to provide some uh, global styles for the whole app so the background and let's say for this text so to do this i will import and uh, create global style and here I'll default, I will define our global styles. So global global styles equals create global style. Yes, and we will define some styles on the body. So uh, the default uh, value will be, let's maybe do background color of um, EEF and now let's put those styles in here inside our theme context global styles like this and now the background is more bluish right but we want a different background if this one is selected and uh, to do this i will pass this dark mode to global styles so uh, dark mode equals dark mode right so in here i can change to um, depending on the props that we have inside so props props uh, dark mode if the dark mode dark mode is true then uh, let's say we will do three three four and otherwise we will do this default white bluish right so now when i select it yes it looks better but now the text so let's define color and uh, also props props dark mode so if the dark mode is enabled we want the text to be almost white and uh, if it's disabled we want the text to be black let's do maybe two 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 all right that should work let's see this enabled yeah the text is dark and uh, if I click it again now everything is white we can also pass it to other components that we create um, so if you create the new components somewhere here you just need to use the state as we used in toggler and then pass the um, information to the toggler. Or to your components. All right, so uh, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Uh, leave a like and uh, have a wonderful day.